It's not just science fiction. Powerful machines and algorithms are already capable of diagnosing illnesses, performing surgery and driving autonomous cars. These technologies provide us with new tools and disrupt the way we work. Yet no one can tell what impact artificial intelligence will have on society. I think that we need to have ethical and fundamental rights impact assessment how the functioning of artificial intelligence will influence on uh, many issues uh, uh, which are important for our everyday life. We have invested a lot of hope in these new technologies, especially for healthcare and decision-making processes. But artificial intelligence also raises ethical and legal questions. For instance, could the development of new AI applications be a threat to human rights? Should uh, individuals have to go through facial recognition or affect recognition when an AI can recognize or predict your emotional state in a job interview? So I would agree that right now we need to do more of the work of understanding what is going on before we create regulation and policy. This means we can set global standards also for artificial intelligence to make sure there are some ethical rules that everybody would follow to accept that we will not use AI, um, uh, weaponized AI, and against humanity. It will be to complement and not to replace humans. Uh, we will not develop consciousness. These questions were at the centre of a recent meeting of experts in Brussels, organised by the European Parliament's Panel for the Future of Science and Technology, STOA. The gathering shed light on proven cases of human rights violations by AI and highlighted potential responses to risks. For example, ethics frameworks, regulatory oversight and legal safeguards could help us to avoid the misuse of artificial intelligence.